All right, boys, Jersey got a great friend that lends us to this amazing game. Shout out to the Sonic Gaming Hub Empire for this amazing work. Isn't it illegal to do that, Donald? I don't think I remember him talking to his friends about this crap. Wash up you freaking losers, Joseph out here. All right, Joe, you're not funny. First, you wanted to resign of your post because you're just an oldie fuck. That only eats ice cream and forgets every second what you're about to say. Oh my God, will you two stop seriously? Obama, that's facts. Joe keeps forgetting every second what he talks, he is still an old man. The last time I remember was calling Obama's wife Manchel. Joe, stop it. It's not fucking funny. At least my wife is named after the car Mercedes and not. Michael? Trump, do not fucking start it. All right, boys, our plan is to explore the hood. We have our presidential car with bulletproofs and shield and shit. And let's go explore the city. Look, guys, we found our car after running hours and hours looking like dumbasses. Also, Sleepy Joe, stop fucking sleeping and get into the mother fucking car. All right, I had to switch my position where I look at the screen and it kind of resembles our presidential car. First off, barricade asshole, this car belongs to the Sonic Gaming Empire, but the leader who is a friend of Jersey lent us this car and his account to play GTA 5. Secondly, Joe is still fucking sleeping as if he doesn't give a fuck. Joe, we are gonna see the children wake your ass up. Let me see them. I wanna sniff their hair like crazy. Can't this game allow us to sniff children's hair? Unfortunately, you pedophiliac sniffing asshole, there is not a single button to sniff someone's hair. Let's explore the city and find something for fun. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought it was a life could be dream, you know that song, Barricade? Don't sing it, Joe. We are gonna get copyright strike because of your ass. Shit, Barricade and Joseph Isle, you both shut the fuck up. You are just being a swipes to the viewers now. Excuse me, bro. But you didn't get me an ice cream Barricade up a Gangnam Style flavor. This shit is dope, my nerd. Ain't no way bro said the N-word in front of Barricade. Biden, first thing you started jokes with my wife when we played Sonic Heroes the last time and now you're just saying the N-word? Bruh. Ain't no way I am letting this shit pass. You know that's extremely offensive and people are gonna call the creator a racist. Sorry, Barricade, but your color matches the word black and barrels. Last chance Biden apologize to me for that racist comment you just made or I'll send missiles in Philadelphia. Okay, fine, geez, Barricade. You need to relax, you don't threaten Dark Brandon like that. Come on, man, even my teleprompter speaks more sense than you. Joe, sometimes I swear you're auditioning for Finding Dory 2 with your memory lapses. Look at these two, fighting like kindergartners. Joe Barack, by the time you're done arguing, I'll have built 10 towers and written another book. This is ridiculous. I've got more parking spots in my properties than this entire city. Sad. This spot is huge. Melania, mark my words, we're fitting in here. Why do you keep dreaming about your wife even though you are at Barricade's house playing GTA 5? Coolio Mod, you got there. Did someone gave you the permission to access that? God damn it, not this degenerative bastard Tate. No, oh, 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 little barricade is being sensitive over Andrew Tate. Technically, I didn't do shit, bro. And technically, you don't know how to play correctly GTA 5 and go being a dumbass shit charging at every people with the presidently goofy ah car. And as an insult to injury, technically, you're just destroying the car. This fucking nerd, I swear to God. Ben, you're ruining this entire plot with myself, Barricade, and Joseph. Trump. I can see that this car doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the Sonic Gaming Empire owned by Sonic's Gaming Hub, a YouTuber worth of 5,000 subscribers, and that the account that you are using belongs to his. Ben, shut the fuck up. You're literally destroying the fucking plot. And also the creator allowed us to borrow his account for a recording of us doing the gameplays. And you're still a fucking nerd with a skill. Of nerd with a skill issue? Says the guy who has a hair made of sack of corn skin. Bruh, ain't no way. You're just saying bunch of bullshit to Joe, mocking him of his dementia while you have a hair made of corn hair. Say that shit again, Benster, and I'll make sure you'll never forget a thousand things every day. Ah, first off, you're copying Michael's quotes, and now you're just trying to say that I am a sore loser that needs to get a life? How pathetic, trombone. It's funny how you eat 250 Big Mac combo meal every fucking day, and those things is not good for your health, bro. Why in the heaven's gate would you eat 250 Big Macs, bro? All of that is make you earn 55 kilos, dog. Eat some fucking salad and corn, bro. You know, turn be why I was always skinny? It's because I always eat something really healthy. Joe was also healthy. It's not like you who eats McDonald's every fucking day. Jesus Christ, you all are zesty, corny ass wipes who keeps mocking the way I eat or the way I exercise. I ass, I ass strong, muscular six foot three man. Bro can't even talk properly, huh? This is exactly what I am talking about, bro. You're becoming like Joe talking incomprehensibly. Technically speaking, you're 78 years old, who I am still surprised, surviving a gunshot in the ear. Oh, God, am. Obey and stand down to your future King President Donald J. Trump. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Suck on that, bitches. Really, old man? You are just gonna shoot at people for not voting for you, a trombone? Carmel Hairdress would beat a sack of peanuts like you. First off, Betty Boy, her name is Kamala Devi Harris, not Carmel Denny Hairdress. Secondly, she is running for president. Hey, Obama, don't forget that I am mimicing the way you just bombed Yemen with your punk-ass missiles. Bruh, don't compare my situation with Yemen, dog. I am not Mr. Yemen. 
man, I slept so much I need my vanilla chocolate chocolate chip with the Yemen strawberry sauce on that shit, and I hope I want to press that big red button. Joe, technically speaking, the big red button sends all missiles to Yemen like your buddy Barricade. If you launch that shit, you're going to get infinite ice cream with a lot of flavors you like. I promise you. Joe, do not listen to Ben. He is trying to scam you into pushing that red button. Are you fucking stupid listening to his lies? All right, Barricade and Trombone. You know that Joe always forget things every second. And if you mention him about children or ice cream, he would wake up and see that there is not any. So technically speaking, bro actually thought that he is going to get what he needed. Let me show you the proof that he forgets his memory every second. Joseph Field, was this you on a Wizards basketball game? That's not me, dog. That must be someone else trying to be me. Sleepy Joe, stop fucking lying to me. I literally saw you laughing with your friends with that goofy, ah, teeth of yours made of concrete. Ben, I think Sleepy Joe already knows he needs to surrender his post to me, so that way I will dominate this fucking world, unlike this Yemen bombarding asshole. Listen, Trinket, you do not call me that because that's strongly offensive. Hey, Obama, I bet you couldn't even fly a drone in GTA, let alone run a country. Hey, Trump, do you ever wonder if McDonald's would name a burger after you, maybe the Bigly Mac extra large, but still lacking substance? What the fuck are you talking about, Sleepy Joe? You barely had skills, so lack of skills means skill issue like this Yemen dog. Obama, you'd probably get lost trying to navigate Yemeni airspace and GTA. Stick to community organizing. I'm back from shopping, you twats. What did I miss? Did I hear Trump is causing trouble with everyone? Earth to Joe, are you paying attention over there? Uh, what was that about again? Ah, ha ha ha. Joe, I think you're having one of those memory vacations again. Oh, come on, man. I just need my coffee. Where's my coffee? God damn it, Joe. Don't tell me you lent those keys to Hunter. He is already committing crimes in the D.C. and you're letting him do whatever he wants at the White House? Uh, I don't know, maybe yes to the man's shell? Joe, stop. I am dead ass serious. Will you please stop joking about my freaking wife? I heard someone is having bad day. Is that the Sonic Gaming Empire map? Joe fucking Rogan, what are you doing here, you little shit? Ah, Joker Rogan. The fuck are you doing here, bro? It's supposed to be a five-player meetup, not six. Well, Ben, Jaden invited me as well to join the recording video, bro. Can't you understand that? What? Did the creator also invited you on this shit? Nah, bro, you gotta be shitting me. My God, we do not need two Sleepy Joe in this fucking video. One is fucking enough. Joe Rogan, I didn't expect you joining the video. I thought that there was gonna be just us five, but feel free to join here. This map is really dope. Well, I can see that you guys are just exploring the hood and want to cause a lot of BS to get money and just rob stores. Also, GTA 6 is probably going to come out next year. Can't wait to play that shit. Uh, Trump. Why are we going to shoot the gangsters? What did they do? They steal our money, Joe, our job, our legacy, and even your chocolate chocolate chip. Bruh, I'm dead. Ain't no way Donnie Turpy is going to manipulate an oldie fuck over that they steal his ice cream stashes and you're probably going to get cops after your ass. Don Don. Joker Rogan, you probably misunderstood our plan was to make money to open business, and to do that shit, we have to take down those goons. Bro, if you want to make real fucking money, save the fucking dough and open small business. Once you have enough money, open a big fucking business, bro. This is why I moved to Romania. Technically, Trombone, this is why you're a bad leader. You say you want to open business by destroying the gang, but that's not how you open business. Do some jobs and open small companies, and then technically you can now open your own big brand. Terpy, what's our plan next? Are we going to kick dog in people's ass all day and do nothing or get our own business opening? Bro be like, I am gonna open ma business. Dog playing GTA 5 is so fucking easy nowadays for an 11 year old game. Joe fucking Rogan and Biden, will you two fuckers stop trolling me and doubting on my skills as a businessman? I am the top fucking D and I know how to lead my own to lead my own team for fuck's sakes. Hey, I'm not a make a wish bro. I already told y'all I am the top fucking G. Put some fucking respect on my name. Will you guys shut the fuck up? Put all of your problems and the politics aside. We are here to have fucking fun playing GTA 5 and chill. And you turned all of this conversation into hate and bunch of BS. Obama, you fool. Didn't you forget I am one of the admins to the creators. I can already check who is breaking the rules and who is respecting it. Like I told Andrew earlier that he needs to stop with the hate speech he is going to launch at this very next moment. This is really fucking funny. I like this drama. Andrew and Trump acting like who is going to be the biggest businessman. I'm getting this popcorn already. Why are those cops who are chasing us? You fucking buffoons. I have this amazing gun here. Come on, guys. Let's get the fuck back into the fucking car. Trumpy, what's your plan? We can't escape those damn ass cops forever. They will bring little choppers and a bunch of BS they have in their arsenal. Trump, I swear to God, every time you got into trouble with this game, I am running endlessly like a douche fucking bag, and I want my ice creamy Big Mac sack of corn hair. Shave your fucking corn hair, Donnie Meister. Let's see how that head of yours shine because you need to lose a lot of goddamn weight, be a fucking giga chad like I am, bro. Do 9,000 push ups for fuck's sakes a month. See, Trump, this is exact fucking Lee. What I was talking about, every time you mock people's struggles or their difficulties, it makes you think you're smart of losing weight by doing nothing. And in the end, you got your ass into a huge fucking trouble when everyone mocks you. Man, I don't care what people says or say some shit about me. I only like to compete and trash fucking talk others. It makes me stronger and have a lot of riz, bro. Okay, tough guy, apologize to us for those hate comments you say or I'll nuke every McDonald's you went into mostly. 
Trump, you know, that you can just use a fucking airplane to escape rapidly from the cops. It's not that complicated. And also, you know, that the cops can see you with those radar looking icons. Trump, it's time to find another plan to escape those cops. And technically, you don't know how to find an escape plan. OK, Barricade, I'm sorry I was joking, but all jokes aside, we need to escape from these fucking cops. If we are dead, we lose a lot of fucking money we just made and we will have to do all of that shit again. Trump, you drive fucking slowly. The car is already damaged. It already gives me a headache of you driving recklessly. Donnie, you don't need to drive so recklessly. There is other quick ways to escape those damn cops. Uh, Obama, I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a jam here. The cops are hot on my tail in GTA 5. Any tips on shaking him? Calm down, Trump. First, ditch your car. It's too hot. Find a quiet alley and switch vehicles. And remember, stay off the main roads. Got it. Switching vehicles. Anything else? Head to the countryside if you can. Less traffic, fewer cops. And keep an eye out for choppers. Driving to the countryside now. Thanks, Obama. You're a real lifesaver. Any advice on beating Hillary? One mission at a time, Trump, one mission at a time. At least, boys, we lost those damn ass cops. Wait, Obama, you didn't take me to the countryside. It almost feels like a tunnel. You fellas, I got a gift for you. Eat this Trump PD blast. You like that shit, you fucking gangster noobs? You shouldn't never rat out Big D Trump to the fucking cops. Nice fucking job, dumbass trumpet. You just made more carnage to gain the cops' attention. Bruh, I believe this is the stupidest way how to be a businessman. You know, Trumbone, this is the walking definition of you being a trumpet scum. Look at me with those fucking muscles and boxing match experiences I bet I am physically fit and a Giga Chad body like. And for you, you're just a fat ass who eats McDonald's with a fat saggy looking like body made of jelly. Trump, you know that you didn't give me the ice cream I was waiting for. Are we still going around to fuck around the city and make money? Trump, you know damn straight that you can always make smart moves instead of eating bunch of maple BBQ quarter pounder from McDonald's. My next plan is that we are going to rob the gun shop for free money and free guns. I like to see you try Trumpazoid. You won't reach it. And I bet you'll die out of eating too much McDonald's daily. Boys, we finally arrived at our destination. Do not let me down. Shoot the fucking dealer. and Let's get our guns and money and escape those damn ass cops. Is this the part I can finally get my free ice cream? Trump, make sure to plan this shit right. Otherwise, we are fucking doomed. Don't worry, guys. The D Superman has always got a plan. If we did it successfully, I can finally eat my triple maple BBQ quarter pounder sandwich. Fucking shit. Ain't no way, bro, is smashing his controller over a death. This is fucking hilarious. Gotta post this shit on Twitter. I need to show everyone about his attitude. Come on, Trumpy boy. It's just a fucking game. Take a chill pill, old man. Shut up, Joker Rogan. I'm already pissed at this point. I can't believe how this game allows cheaters NPCs using guns on my ass. I blame this on Joe and Obama for leaving me on purpose. Okay, I got this car borrowing from the SGE clan, and now I am back in business. The Big Don is not finished yet. Joe, you ass of a bidet loser. Why in the hell did you abandon me on purpose? I have to waste all of my McDonald's money to get those fucking guns back. Bro, I asked you many times to buy me fucking ice cream with coconut mango and chocolate chocolate chips. You keep saying that we are going to go to the store and you were trying to be mean with me with those too strict ass rules about me not going anywhere. I can't do everything here. Biden, you fucking buffoon GTA 5 does not have a button to eat ice cream or sniff children hair stop being soft, dog. Trumbone, you do not have to be so fucking mean towards everyone, including Biden. You need to bring this video into a fucking humor, not a McDonald's review video of you munching all over the table with garble garble. Oh my God, this meal is fucking good. Follow the damn common sense humor. Listen, Ben 10, I like how you roast me and say some stupid shit behind my back saying I'm a fatass that eats my favorite restaurant every day, but you're just a fucking nerd that literally does nothing but criticize me in this whole video. Says the guy who always can't spell the word fat ass. Donnie, if you listen my advice, I'll make you the strongest fighter in this world and a business fucking man, bro. Barricade Obama, the fucking ye men destroyer. Why in the hell did you abandon me with Joe? Because I'm getting tired of you calling me a Yemen destroyer and making racist jokes and I was really tired of that shit so I had to go. Barricade, you fucking know that I was literally joking with you and I did not mean to truly call you that and you know it now get in your Yemen ass in the car and so we are going to make money. All right, dinosaur fossils and barricade. We are going to take away this police car so we can make this city great again, just like America. All right, what's the plan, Trump? Trump, make sure not to fuck up your gameplay like last time. It was so embarrassing after having McDonald's for this entire fucking week. Show us some common sense. Obama, remember what you did that shit earlier, killing those people. That's how you fucking do that shit in Yemen. It's so fucking embarrassing. And Biden, you know that you're old as a dinosaur fossils. Trump, one more hate speech you say to the cast. I am ending this fucking video because that you're just being a super racist and you're not handling your hate control more better. Do you want to get tased and muted for this entire video? 
Jaden doesn't like when his videos is filled with your racist hate comments towards Obama, Biden, and everyone you see in this cast. Ben, you fucking nerd, you know that it's not my fault. I can't control myself of using these words, you know. I dream of McDonald's and all shit, making so many jokes that I like to make for laughing the audience. You're just mad that people laughs at me and not you with your glasses. Anyways, I need to buy more ammo for my guns, Obama and Biden stay in the fucking car. We need this shit when we are gonna get hit by the cops or the gangs that is taking our spot. Trump boy, why can't you manage your money and save a lot of more money buying less? The more you do that, the more chance you can do to open a business. Bro, it's the amazing part, dog. All right, after buying all of that shit, we need to get back to the car. Obama and Dinosaur Fossil, get your asses back into this car right this fucking instant. Chill, Donald, we are already in the car. Stop insulting us like crazy dog. All right, our plan is getting our revenge to the cops for dick riding us this entire game and take back their camp. This is our own fucking turf. All of those cops will stand down to the King Trump and you will all give me your donuts and Big Macs. Barricade and Joe, please do not abandon me like shit, bro. We need to take revenge on those ass wipes that literally caused us trouble. Ben, you're still a fucking nerd with skill issue. Andrew, you're bald. And Joe Rogan, you have skill issue. Trump, did you fucking take Hunter's sugarcoat drug pills and just exploded offensive words like that? Are you joking? You know that what I warned you earlier, one more fucking insult. I am ending this video because you three need some rest and the creator in the future will try to upgrade your voices. Ben, relax. Maybe Trump likes to provoke people every time when someone is annoying him for no reason. Just keep your jets cool and we already almost at the 20 minute video. You people, I saw you on the news. You voted this bidding money over me in the elections. This is why you rigged this fucking elections four years ago. Trump, you know the rules on being a casting player is to not bring the fucking politics into this conversation. This video is only intended to make people laugh about really funny jokes and insults, not in the fucking contrast. Listen, Baldy Mac knows hair. Nobody fucking asked. Did anyone ask Joe Rogan to talk? Nobody did. Hold up before we end this video. Huge shout out to CN Archives for this amazing comment and also our friend Sonic Gaming Hub for helping us out with the video. Please subscribe to both of their channel and a part two is coming up very soon.